The ball in the bowl is an interesting example of inertia in action during the drop tower experiment. When the ball is in uniform circular motion at the bottom of the dish, the ball experiences a normal force from the glass pushing on the ball, and of course it has weight. Those two vector forces add vectorially to produce a net force pointing inward towards the center of the circle, and we can call that a centripetal or center-seeking force that's required to maintain the uniform circular motion of the ball around and around inside the dish. Then the dish is dropped into zero G and weight suddenly goes away. Since weight is now gone, the question remains, does the ball have a normal force acting on it? The answer is yes, there still is a normal force of the glass pushing on the ball and the reason is because the ball has inertia. The inertia of the ball makes the ball want to go in a straight line, but it cannot because it's inside of the glass bowl. Therefore, the glass bowl pushes on the ball with a normal force, reacting to the fact that the ball is still traveling on a curved path. This normal force remains and it has a vertical component of the, of the normal force and that vertical component creates a vertical acceleration which causes the ball to circle and accelerate and ultimately fly out of the dish. So it's the inertia of the ball that we can say contributes to the behavior of the ball flying out of the dish.